So in this one, we're gonna have a look on how to remove background and import this clip into Blender. So let's begin it with After Effect because we're using the for uh, for this purpose we're using After Effect. So click File, Import, and File. Select the file that you want, a green screen file actually. You can use any kind. If you rotoscope it, it doesn't matter. So create a new composition. Uh, so it's like that. Now come up to the effects and preset. Search for key light and uh, drag and drop this key light into it. Now grab this eyedropper and select the green part and remove it. And so now uh, click this file and hit Ctrl M to open up this uh, rendering settings. So now click output modules. And now in the format, change it to QuickTime. Uh, click it and the channels is gonna be RGB plus alpha. So we will export this clip uh, With alpha channels as well then click output and select one of the folder To save these and hit render So if your clip is longer, it's gonna take some time But if it's shorter then it's gonna be render and it also depends on the quality of the clip so let's fit for this one because We have to export it so I'm not going to skip it because it's moving faster and yeah, it exports it without any background. So we can import it into any software without background. It's not just Blender, but you can import this into any software like Maya. Now open up Blender. So this is the simple scene I created. It's not that much complex. If you want to know how I did it, do a comment. So I will create it in the next one. So come to file import and click images as plan. It's actually an add-on. You can turn this on in add-on uh, section. So now go ahead to the location where you save the video. So I have here. Make sure before clicking import images as plan, you must make sure that uh, alpha and uh, auto refresh is turned on. So they, it will import it without any background. So click import images as plan. And now if we scale this thing up, as you can see, okay, so it's without background. It's actually, I have turned on texture without, if you, if you have material on, so change it to texture in the solid settings because it will show you every surface texture without being lagged or, you know, crashed. So here is the clip and if you go to material view, you can see this is pretty nice. And uh, the simple setup that I, that I have done is this empty, which is moving along the X axis. If we just look at this and if you see, I added two keyframes, one at the starting point, another and the ending. So it's actually moving with some velocity. Now grab the clip into the uh, empty because we're going to parent the uh, empty with the clip so first select the clip and then we're going to select the empty to actually make uh, the empty the parent of the clip so now select the empty and hit ctrl p object keep transform and now the clip will move with the empty so as you can see it looks really nice but it's actually dirty uh, but the, you can't move the camera but from one angle it looks really realistic it just depends on your lighting. If your lighting matches the clip, that's it. And the best thing about this, if we add any lamp in the background, it's going to cast shadows. And if we want any reflection, it's also adding reflections. And that's really great. And you can also use it with Eevee because it's also work with Eevee. And I have added some particle system into the ground. If I turn them on from here, you can see that there are a lot. So I'm just showing you that how I did it and what smaller detail I added. And yeah, that's nice. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the next one.